What if I drink coffee like this? <laughs> what if I drink coffee like this, like in real life? <laughs> You'd probably choke and die. <laughs> No Man's Sky next is out. Mike, Peter, yes. Robert, Michael. <laughs> Peter, Rob. We played a whole bunch of it the last few days. Uh, I personally still can't grasp everything about this update. To name a few, third person, yeah. multiplayer. Yeah. Graphical enhancements. You looking at your screen doesn't convince me you've actually played the game, but okay. <laughs> it's. Been, I personally have been very excited about this. It's crazy. It's, it's crazy. It, Okay, I won't say I won't go as far as to say it feels like a whole new game because as we've discussed amongst ourselves, you still have to be comfortable just grinding out the mining right. and doing the Minecraft stuff, right? Like so it's not a totally different game. That's still very important. But I mean let's break it down if if you will. The third person stuff to me really helps like solidify my context. Like who I am, how big I am in this grand scheme. I felt it before, but like not being able to see me never felt like I really got the full picture. Now I feel like, okay, I get this. I am super, super lonely. I get that more than ever. And I get to see people now. Yeah. And not even just that, the animations look pretty great. Like all the emotes and stuff oh, yeah. you can do, you know, you have the, the very much Destiny-esque, in multiple ways it reminds me of that. Like the, the space stations are not just a door with the right. same cut and paste room. It's a communal like market with all these merchants and you know, you're able to kind of interact in, that, in the funny ways of just like, I'm choking, I'm jumping up and down, like all that's very fluid and it, it looks great. So maybe I'm uh, jumping topics too soon, but I want to talk about multiplayer because that was one thing that people were really excited about. Two years ago, I mean, like obviously that was a big marketing fiasco, what happened, what didn't happen, what what was No Man's Sky's part, what was Sony's fault. But multiplayer was a cool aspect. You'd running into someone randomly uh, in this seemingly, in, or in this infinite universe, just running into someone, that alone just seemed like, you know, miraculous. And then when people finally did, they couldn't see each other. But now there's multiplayer and that's, that's great. But I was talking to you about this this morning. I feel like multiplayer, now that I've finally come to grips with what No Man's Sky is and like, being chill and calm with it and you know the Minecraft aspects. I feel like once the initial thrill of multiplayer wore off, it was actually grating to play with other people, for me. And I realize that might be very personal to me, but I felt like that was kind of uh, the antithesis of what I should be doing in this game. No, no, so you're totally right. It is the antithesis because so much of being alone and lost in this universe is really buying into it and feeling like a part of it. Being patient and kind of by yourself. And... Sure, right, and the idea of running into someone randomly is just like, what are the odds? Yeah. Now it's literally like you join someone's game, it takes you from wherever you are and puts you on that person's, in that system with them. So it's already fundamentally changing like your relationship with the game, but I think it's not to the game's detriment. Like I think No Man's Sky can exist as either or. Sure. Either the single player pursuit where maybe you're chasing the Awakening quest or the Atlas path, or you just want an excuse to like fly your ship around and look cool and show off for people and just goof off. And that's what I'm really yeah. getting. Playing with these, you know, playing with, with Rob and a little bit yeah. with Josh and stuff. It's just, it really feels like a playground for us rather than a journey that I'm going on because we're not getting shit done. <laughs> so that's, there, there's way too much to do. That was, the, that was what we kind of realized later last night and then even today confirming the fact that it is a playground, but at some point you gotta pick something to do and to yeah. like, in, looking at the Reddit, it's like, okay, someone was saying like, the, one of the best things to do as far as like, you know, bang for your buck, getting a lot of units is going to a planet, landing on planet, setting up a signal booster, and then finding these ruins. You right. go to the ruins, you, there's some buried treasure, essentially, you dig that up and you flip it and you get a lot of money. We tried doing that and sure enough, ran into like a brick wall where like there was no treasure, there was no anything. And that's a letdown because it's very much like a, a kid's game to me in some ways, where it's like you can get immediately lost 
and, and segue into a different thing. Like, let's go mine over here. I need to get war fuel to get off this planet. I need to do this. Everyone has different goals. Sometimes something just looks beautiful. Sometimes it's just a cool vista, yeah. And you wanna I, go. And you wanna go do that. It, I guess what I'm trying to get at is, with this implementation of multiplayer, there is also a need to like be very constructive in what your goals are and what you wanna do. And that even dials back to the base building aspects, which are pretty neat. But once again, there are some bugs that are littered in it, but you need to be sure everyone's on the same page because you're, you're all working for the same goal, but someone needs to step in, I want to say, sometimes and be like, okay, like, what are we actually building here? Or just agree that, hey, we don't have a goal in mind. Just screwing around. Like yeah. you said, multiplayer, they, they can exist alongside each other, and I think they do well because you don't have to be playing multiplayer. I still prefer the game as this solitary experience where I find a planet, explore it, I get off planet, I do another warp drive, I go to the next star cluster, and I accept that everything I'm seeing is fleeting. Whereas in multiplayer, it's like show and tell, and you want to build a base and settle down on this home planet. And you could do that in single player, but I feel like there's more, uh, there's less impetus to keep exploring in multiplayer, if only because the people I'm playing with are very, tend to be disorganized or something. And you know, like it's, it's just fun to mess around and be in the same world as someone else. Right, I mean, but the thing is you can still exist in the same system, in the same instance. You can travel to a different system yeah. and still talk to each other, yeah. right? And meet up again. So there are ways where you can splinter off and go do your own thing and then come back. Now that we haven't really done too much of that, but that sort of is a very interesting concept in my mind where we have set up a base and we treat it as such, like literally, like, we will always return here at the end of whatever play session, whether we're together or not. And this will be our foundation. Yeah. But we can do our own things as long as we contribute to something. We haven't tried to define what that something is yet. I know, like, you and Jake have built a base, and now Josh is trying to build, you know, his base, and you said, like, in the trees behind it, right? <laughs> Yeah, he's kind of like, it's so funny right. to see, like, wooden texture cabins with, like, a hologram entrance. <laughs> yeah, so maybe we all do that for a while, right? We all build out, establish this presence, get to know the planet really well, the planets around it. But at some point, if we want to keep doing that, we'll have to say, okay, do we take a step back and reformulate this base? Because we understand so much of the possibilities now. What do we want to do that's bigger? I don't think we can see the big picture benefits of multiplayer yet. It's only been a couple days, and it just feels like there's so much to wrap your head around. Yeah. You started a fleet. So that was, that's right. exactly, that's, that's what I was the most talk appealing about. aspect yeah. to me personally. There's a lot going on with that. And in the previous game, uh, they had the implementation of freighters. Now you can like straight up manage your fleet with upwards, I think, to 60 other frigates. So I had this really cool moment where, you know, you, in the game, you run across like space pirates who scan your ship and yeah. they find something valuable. They pull you out of pulse jump and they attack you. It was really neat to basically have that going on and be like, oh yeah, say hello to my little Push friend, yeah. Yeah. warp in a frigate. And with it came a smaller frigate that like was um, of the many different aspects of stats specialized in combat and deploy these subsequent freaking fighters. And it's a, now it's a, it's a space battle. You can imagine the, gra the grander scheme of like, okay, I'm gonna put a lot of time with more frigates, get more frigates, yeah. and come across not just AI, but another hopefully player. another yeah, player, so. but and then have the space battle. But the thing is that you have to elect how you do multiplayer. You either open yourself up to randoms, right? And that would be the pool where people run into each other, or you play with friends. Given the experience of the past two years of this game, I'm inclined to think most people are gonna choose to play with friends because then they know they can guarantee They'll be playing with somebody when they want to be. I'm a little worried that the join anyone's game thing, no one's gonna do that because are you really gonna run into someone? So well, we were talking also about like, I wanted, I was saying in that last video that I would really wanna be a pirate and mess with people and be a troll. But then we were saying, how would you do that? Because if you join someone else's game and do that, they could easily just kick you. Not even just that. Well, so on the subreddit, you, you, you start seeing that. Yeah. Is that people are actually doing just that, apparently. It's but like the host trolling. isn't kicking them? Maybe they don't know how to or it's a problem. I, I, I even thought I saw someone said that he was able to like turn it off essentially oh, and go okay. like solo. Maybe that's the, the base sharing aspect of it. Maybe, I'm not quite sure, but this guy was saying that like people were coming in and, and just attacking him nonstop as he was trying to get off the planet. And like another guy even said like, I was trying to help a person get sure. off the planet because some asshole was prohibiting him from fixing his uh, initial starter fighter. Where 
you talking to me about like abandoned stations or like spaceships and stuff that people are showing up and it's just like a ghost town? Yeah, so that's the other cool part about this update is that there's a lot, I want to call them scenes or scenarios, it, yeah. it seems like. You know, everything from what you were saying where there's like these like kind of like monochromatic planets where yeah. the only, light spectrum is, is only limiting to like red. Yeah, black, white, and red, and that's it. That's awesome. super cool. It's really cool looking. He's got cool photos. By the way, the subreddit is fantastic. There are so many awesome images that people are able to capture and toss it's, up. Of it's the inspiring rings stuff. It's like, it is. It's like, I want to get back in this game. Yeah, yeah, exactly. The other cool stuff is, yeah, someone was saying that there are like not just derelict like space stations, but derelict systems where the presence of Atlas and yeah. just in general species of aliens aren't even present. Like it, it is just barren, which seems pretty neat. Like landing on a space station and there's no one there. Yeah. That's a possibility. The other one is uh, essentially there are these things called whispering eggs, which is a weird name in general. Whispering eggs, if you interact with them, these xenomorph zerg-like aliens come out and apparently it's like two hits and you're dead, so they're horrifying. And this, this just conveniently interesting bug, uh, pun intended, gets stuck on the glass as he's like jumping on the, uh, the canopy. It's horrifying, <laughs> but that's cool. And these eggs are apparently like um, very ex expensive and you can like flip them and get a lot of money out of it. I think it's, I mean, for all of Mike's complaints about multiplayer, which I don't think we disagree with, I think it's just that there's so much, so many different ways of looking at this game. Yeah, I also um, just don't like people, so. That's true. But to my point, I think I'm actually like really enthused by what I'm seeing so far in the update, and I'm still, I'm, I'm excited for this game all over again. Yeah, so that was my question. Do you think, like you mentioned, I don't think this is a completely new game. Maybe it's like No Man's Sky 1.3. Ooh. Yeah, that's not a, a review score. That's just what I, <laughs> no, uh, I know what you're doing. take it yeah. to be. So this this changed my mind on the game, for sure, uh, personally. Because especially when I'm playing single player and I'm coming back to it and kind of coming to grips with the fact that a lot of what I'm seeing is fleeting and uh, I'm not settling down. Maybe that's why I haven't enjoyed multiplayer as much because I'm not showing off a base or I'm not showing off a fleet. Although I would like to build a fleet for sure. I think it changed my mind on the game. I don't feel like it's a whole new game, but did you guys feel as if, do you think this will bring back people who didn't really like No Man's Sky and I think it already has. Yeah, I think, I think it already it has. has. I think I think it's I think you could even strip away the multiplayer and it's still a a, a far better game. A far better like polished game. I mean, they wiped all the elements and re rebalanced all that stuff. Granted, it's you know more difficult and more Minecrafty esque to like find warp fuel now is like another two steps. Which is interesting, and that, that, that kind of treats everything differently, right? You have to like rethink how you do things in this game, which I want to say is one part of like why this, this feels so different. But the other thing is like you look at the wildlife, you don't see so many of these just abominations. <laughs> they seem to be better looking animals, and I would even say that they also are, to quote Jurassic Park, like they're moving in herds and stuff. Like they're not so like individualistic where they just start like randomly like walking around and stuff. Like you're seeing groups of animals yeah. and the animations of these things look a lot better. Like yeah. there's like the best parts about this game have been improved and they've introduced new things that are really good. I don't know what else we could really ask for. Yeah. Uh, I mean, we're still trying to figure out what the hell this is. So maybe we'll know more. Yeah. That being said, I'm very excited and I will continue to play and it's neat. It's neat to see this game have this second coming, like, it's fascinating. And they were able to do it. I mean, it's been two years. They could have ditched it, right? They could have just like hid, but here they are back they're, again. They're owning the story of this game. Yeah. More power to them. It's awesome.